perimeter example number one the diagram is drawn such that a semicircle is set on a rectangle of base 14 centimeters find the perimeter of the diagram now we know the perimeter means the length around the the diagram so first label the figure and by the way you might have seen this uh, similar figures around your houses you know uh, the window this window is called Norman window so in the Norman window the a semicircle is set on a, a rectangle base now let's label this figure say this is a and a b and a c and this point is d again the perimeter means length around the figure so clearly the perimeter of this diagram is length of a b plus the arc of BC, the arc length of BC, plus the length of CD, plus length of DA. So the perimeter is AB plus the arc of arc length of BC, the arc length of BC, plus CD. Plus the DA. AB is 26 centimeters. And we don't know arc of BZ, so we're just going to find arc of BZ. Say we know arc length L is given by angle at the center divided by angle around the center times 2 phi r. But here's a half a circle, so clearly arc length is one half of. The, the perimeter which is 2 phi r so therefore we get arc of AB is equal to 1 half times 2 times phi which is 22 over 7 and the radius how we figure out the radius we are given the diameter is 14 centimeters so therefore the radius is going to be the 7 centimeters, one half of the diameter. So we get a 7 over here. This 7 can allow, also 2 can allow. So we are left with a 22. So therefore, arc of BZ is equal to 22 plus the CD. The length of CD is same as length of AB because it's a two parallel sides of the the rectangle so which is equal to 26 plus length of da is the is equal to 14. now if i add all of them i get 88 centimeters so the perimeter of this diagram is equal to 88 centimeters example number two two semicircles each of radius seven centimeters are set on a large semicircle as shown in the figure. Find the perimeter of the figure. Now let's first label this figure. Say this point the join the smaller semicircle with the large one say A and this one say this point say B and the this point that join two is small semicircle say C. Now since the perimeter is length around the figure, the clearly perimeter is the, the length of the arc of AB plus length of arc BC plus length of arc CA. The perimeter is the length of arc AB plus length of arc BC plus the length of arc CA. Now, now, what is the length of arc? Length of arc AB. Arc AB. The sector is a, a half a circle. Therefore, the arc length is one half of the circumference two pi r. So, which is actually two cancel out the phi r 
phi is 22 over 7. So what is the radius of the large semicircle? Now, now it's given two semicircle each of 7, radius of 7 centimeters. So the radius of each semicircle, the small semicircle is 7 centimeters. That means the diameter is 14 centimeters. So that diameter of the smaller semicircle is actually the radius of the, the big semicircle. Therefore, the radius of the big semicircle is equal to the 14 centimeters. So the, this distance is 7 centimeters. That makes the diameter is equal to 14 centimeters, which is the radius of the big semicircle. So we get 14. 7 times 2 is 14. So 2 times 22, or which is equal to 44 centimeters. And then we have to find arc of BC. Arc of BC is also a half a circle. Therefore, the arc length is going to be 5. R, 5 is 22 over 7. And R is equal to 7 centimeters over there. So that will cancel out. So that will give you 22 centimeters. Now, what is the arc of AC? Arc of AC is same as arc of BZ, which is same as arc of BZ. So therefore, that is also equal to 22 centimeters. Therefore, we get this one is 44 plus BZ is arc of BZ is 22, arc of CA also 22 centimeters. So if you add them, you get 88 centimeters. Example number three. Figure illustrates how a quarter circle of radius 14 centimeters has been joined to a right triangle. Find the perimeter of the figure. You see here in this figure, a quarter circle or a B is attached to a, a right triangle. So we are asked to find the perimeter of the figure. Now clearly the perimeter means length around the, the figure. Therefore the perimeter is here the, the arc length of a B, arc of AB plus length of BC, length of BC plus length of CO plus length of OA. Now the arc of AB is clearly It's a quarter circle. That means you get a one fourth of two pi r, one fourth of one fourth of the circumference. So that means we have one fourth times two for five. We use twenty two over seven again, and r is equal to fourteen centimeters. 7 is a factor of 14, 7 times 2, and this 2 times 2 times 2 is 4, that cancelled with this, so at last we left with only 22 centimeters. So we got arc of AB is 22 centimeters, and the BC is given as 25 plus the CO is 15 centimeters plus OA is the, the radius of this sector which is 14 centimeters again so which is equal to 76 centimeters.